Excel is a website that offers math and language arts practice. The website is subscription based, however, um, your students can go in and can practice up to 20 problems per machine per day. So you can get a lot of practice off of this website without actually uh, subscribing to it. If you, do if you do decide to subscribe, the advantage of that is that you can get reports on each student and how they how well they've done. Let me show you a little bit about this website. One of the things I really like about it is that uh, there is a section for Common Core. I'm sorry, I don't you can't see it at the top, but there's just a there's a link at the top for Common Core. And when we click on that, uh, you can choose your state. And these are these are video and math and language arts tutorials arranged by Common Core Standard. I'm going to click on the sixth grade and I'm looking here at on the sixth grade about using ratio and rate reasonings uh, to solve real world problems and looking at equivalent ratios. And when I hover you see like a little preview of that pops up. When you click on those this is what you see. You see uh, a problem where we have uh, the question are these ratios equivalent? And if this was in some of the earlier grades, you would see a speaker here and it would actually read the question to the student. So when the student answers this question and submits this, if the answer is correct, they know immediately. And that's what we're talking about. Formative assessment allows the student to know immediately whether they are getting a problem right or wrong. Okay. So in this one, we're taking a look at are these ratios equivalent? One is to 2, what 5 is to 10. Let's say that I say that this is no and submit this. If you answer one incorrectly then you have immediate feedback about the problem. You get an explanation that says you answered no, it says two ratios are equivalent if their cross products are equal and it shows the student how to work the problem. Okay, And then it tells the student can click got it and they will be presented with a new problem. Are these ratios equivalent? And so I think you'll see that this is an excellent tool for providing professional, um, providing formative assessment. Um, the teacher can have students, if, you, if they have devices, students can be working on this as the teacher walks around, looks at the number of problems being attempted, looks at the time in which they're doing this, looks at the score, and can be able to use this to know which students that she needs to help and when.